Hey guys, hope you're well. Today I'm actually going to be reviewing the Juvia's Place Stick Foundation. I actually got sent these and let me just give you guys a little bit of a history with the Juvia's Place and me. Um, first of all, I tried reviewing their liquid foundations in the past and I thought I did a really good job trying to find out my right shade. I did a horrible job and I ended up like, you know, reviewing the foundation even though it wasn't my shade, I found a way to actually make it work. Now I have like, you know, their foundations, which I got sent, their stick foundations. And the first time they sent their foundations, the shades that they sent were not my shades. Sadly, they were not my shades. And they sent about 15 of those shades and none of them actually worked for me in sense that it was my exact skin tone. So I ended up giving that to my colleagues and sharing those foundations with them. They were kind enough to actually send me some of their foundations from the Dark Kingdom. So hopefully we'll find something that actually works out really, really great. So yeah. I'm a bit nervous when it comes to reviewing this foundation right now but like if you guys know Juvia's Place you guys definitely know that they make amazing um, eyeshadow palettes that are really really pigmented so I'm actually excited to be trying out their stick foundation I have a problem with stick foundation guys like usually I've tried stick foundations in the past and it didn't work out well for me like for example the black opal stick foundation was really good they had great shades but when it came to like you know how it felt on the skin I actually didn't like it I felt that my my pores were being clogged another thing that I wasn't comfortable with was that because I have oily skin I started to feel like more greasy and the foundation itself was super super greasy so when it comes to stick foundation I usually stay away from stick foundations because I'm just afraid that by the end of the day I'm going to look like a grease ball but hopefully this does something different for me um, yeah when I did review the previous foundation even when I tried it on I was like no this foundation is going to make me look greasy even though it wasn't my shade but at the end of the day I was actually surprised that it actually wasn't that it held up really well I did a wear test for that but today I'm not going to be doing a wear test I'm just going to be swatching the foundations that I have and also sharing with you guys like you know how I would be using these stick foundations so yeah let's jump right into it so I'm sure you guys have seen a ton of times like what the stick foundation looks like this is what it looks like when it comes the packaging is the same like that of the liquid foundation it usually retails for about $16 but I know that they were having sales during December and they were going for as low as $8 and that is US dollars, not Canadian dollars. So yeah, I have about 13 shades, like I said, and I'm only going to be swatching shades that are closer to my skin tone. I'm not going to be swatching anything lighter than my skin tone right now. So hopefully let's see what we have here. So let's jump right into it. The stick foundations come like this in this gorgeous I don't know what to call it coral orange packaging which I think is beautiful and it just rolls up and this is the amount of product that you get one interesting thing though that I actually did find out about um, Juvia's Place is that when I was sharing the foundations with my colleagues in the office I have like good colleagues that are really health conscious and they really care about the kind of products that they put into their skin and when I was giving it out to them one of them decided to go on on the environmental working group their websites to just see what kind of ingredients were in the Juvia's Place um, foundation however this particular foundation didn't pop up but their liquid foundation did pop up and some of their eyeshadow palettes did pop up now in EWG when you go on their website you want to go to the section called skin deep because that's where they focus on makeup products and skincare products and when we typed in Juvia's Place we saw their eyeshadow palettes and their liquid foundation and some of their powders now they have a chart where it rates products from 1 to 10 and 1 being the absolute best and 10 being the absolute worst products that you can actually have because they have dangerous chemicals in them that are not good for your skin Juvia's Place foundation and some of their eyeshadow palettes ranked within the number 3 and 4 and I thought that that was pretty good that means they are pretty conscious enough to care about the products that the chemicals that they're putting in their products so you know that you're getting something that's really good and I really really wanted to share this with you guys because it's important that you know what you're putting on your skin so yeah let me stop chatting and let me start swatching so the first shade that I'm going to swatch is Benin I'm not doing this in any order I'm just going in the next shade is Congo. Congo is super dark. Like I've never ever seen a foundation that is this shade before. So this is really exciting. Wow. 
just even swatching them I really like how creamy it is so I feel that this will be easy to blend the next shade is Addis Ababa after Addis Ababa I have Zambia after Zambia I have Sokoto after Sokoto I have Tunisia after Tunisia I have Katsina after Katsina I have Madagascar so these are all the shades that I decided to swatch for you guys these are the other ones the other shades are way too light and I just didn't feel the need to actually swatch them for you guys but out of all of these shades the one that, that it's going to be close to my skin tone is this one and I'm sure by the time I highlight and contour everything will be pulled together so yeah before I get started on my foundation I love to go in with the Laura Mercier translucent powder and this is a medium deep I'm just gonna take that and just apply that all over my face this is going to help help control like the oil on my skin and just make sure that my foundation sits in properly. Okay, the shade that I said I'm going to go in with for my face is Benin. This is, still looks slightly dark, but I don't mind it because for me, I don't, I would go in with my highlighting shade and contour shade and pull this whole look together. So Benin is the closest thing to the foundations that I currently have in my makeup box. So. I love going in with a brush because I just feel that that would help me work that foundation better into my skin and blend it out better. A beauty sponge I would use when I'm using like a liquid foundation, but this is a stick foundation and is more of a cream, so I need to make sure that it blends out properly. Liquid foundations are definitely easier to blend faster than cream foundations but this JVS place foundation blends pretty well I've used you know other stick foundations in the past and I know the struggle it is to actually get them blending into your skin so I'm just blending right now one of the things I can tell you off the bat is that it's not as greasy as other um, stick foundations that I've used so that is definitely a plus and if you're someone like me that has like oily skin you really get worried when um, a foundation already makes you look greasy because you know that at, at the end of the day you're gonna look like you dipped yourself in vegetable oil and that's what I'm trying to avoid so yeah I love the fact that it blends out well I don't look greasy I don't feel greasy one of the things that the foundation says is that it's medium buildable which is pretty good because I love a foundation that you can layer on if you feel the need to I'm not one that fusses about like imperfections showing so I'm not really really bothered this is just a good first layer of the foundation on my skin and just looking in this mirror right now I'm in love with what I'm seeing it might look a bit dark but I'm okay with it it's gonna blend it down to my neck I love when a foundation gives you that skin effect absolutely love it so this is giving me that right now when I reviewed the liquid foundation apart from the fact that I didn't have my correct shade I have to be honest after wearing it for like a couple of hours I was super impressed with it so I loved it so this is like okay what can they do with your stick foundation and I'm not it's not looking bad whatsoever if you want to build it up then I suggest you can go in with another layer I'm perfectly fine with how it is right now so I'm going to move on to highlighting they do say that their stick foundation is multi-purpose so I'm going to be using another stick foundation to highlight another one to contour and see how well that works so the shade that I'm going to use to highlight is the shade Madagascar And I'm just going to blend it out with the same brush that I used to apply the foundation. Like I said, I'm really, really wary when it comes to using like beauty sponge to blend out cream foundations. It's a bit difficult for me, so I'll just stick to what I know. I love that I don't feel choked up more especially if you if you live in a really really hot country like Nigeria it can be a bit difficult to wear like 
cream foundations because by the time you step out under the sun like that's it, it's game over i love how this is blending i have to say i really like how this is blending i think one of the things that i look for in a foundation is i'm not trying to get like 10 hours wear or you know 12 hours wear out of you that's for me i wouldn't say it's unrealistic there are foundations that claim to do that i just want to make sure that when i wear a foundation i look good wearing it and it sits well on my skin i don't want to look cakey i don't want to look patchy i don't want any of those things like more about like how the finish is even if it's the i can only get like two three hours out of a foundation i'm okay with that i'm more about how i look as opposed to the longevity of the foundation this is sitting pretty well i'm still going to go in with a little bit more and i'm going to try and use like a smaller brush to blend underneath my eyes I have to say, I love how this looks. Like, I can't even lie. I love how this looks. So I'm going to contour my face with the shade called Katsina. I know that this is a northern state in Nigeria. It's just that when people try to pronounce it or tell me how to pronounce it, I always like feel Katsina, Katsina. Okay, so yeah. This is a really, really dark brown, and I love how dark it is i'm not one to contour normally i tend to just stay away from that um but today i'm going to make an exception and because this is buildable i'm going to just start off with a little bit on my nose and see if i need to go in with more so yeah i'm going to go in with the same brush that i use for my foundation and blend it out when it comes to contour like i tend to stay away from it because you can miss it a lot of times it's hit or miss I, I always believe in like small portions go a long way. I'm not trying to have like chiseled out cheeks and everything. So just a little bit. And I love the shade, it's not bad at all. I stopped contouring my nose a long time ago because I just found out that I either I was good doing too harsh or it didn't just look well but the fact that I can actually get the right amount of concealer on my nose and still contour it without looking like it's overdone is perfect I love how this feels I don't feel congested I know what like stick foundation most stick foundations they feel like after like wearing it you start feeling like you're clogged up your pores are choking this is so lightweight i really love it what i'm going to do is set the rest of my face come back and share with you guys my thoughts on the stick foundation so guys i'm done with my whole face i love how my face actually looks one of the things that i will say about this foundation is that it's not expensive it's 16 dollars, so it's a really really affordable foundation the fact that you can actually just buy all three shades your face um shade your highlighting shade and your contour shade and you can use the same products to just create this kind of look makes it even more better for someone like me that has oily skin knowing that this foundation is even a stick foundation and it's not greasy is a thumbs up from my end and the fact that i actually discovered that they use products that are actually good for your skin makes it even more more amazing in my own opinion so i'm really really excited about it i love how the shade range are they're about 30 shades so you can definitely find something that will be your skin tone or something close to it and you can make it work i really really love how this look turned out i'm so excited about this foundation unfortunately i won't be doing a wear test which i stated earlier on but yeah this is something that is not expensive so you won't feel bad about trying it i love how my face looks guys i love it anyways guys just thought to share my thoughts on the Juvia's place foundation don't forget to subscribe to my channel turn on the notification bell so every time i post a new video you get notified and i'll see you guys in my next one bye